Hello everyone, in the last two tutorials we have learned how to model this flange as well as this center disc. In this tutorial we are going for assembly module to assemble this component. For that just go to the Creo parametric new. In, in the last two tutorial we have went to a part. Now just go to the assembly. Just make sure you are in the assembly design. If you provide any name and tick this use default template just save ok. Here also we have to choose the unit mm newton design absolute. So this one we have to choose. Just say OK. I'm just switching on all the planes. Now we are in the assembly module. For easy assembling, I'm just going to keep this one here and this one here. Now we are in the assembly model. So here you can see the 3D view and here you can see the front and side view. <coughs> now we just want to import the component one by one just go to the assembly just assembly here the first component is one one flange select this part file just open it now the component is opened here here these are the coordinates to uh, move the component front top right whenever you open the first component or the base component just go to the constraints here current constraints make it to default what it will do it will <coughs> move the component to the local coordinate system so it is moved into the origin here you can see it is fully constrained just save ok when it is changed turn to be a local that means the component is fully constrained ok so for this we can so now we have imported the first component then we just want to take this center disk just click this one assemble one take the center disk just open it the second component came here now here switch on only the axis <coughs> now this surface has to coincide with the surface before that just control is that delete just rotate this component just take this one and place it like this now we have rotated and we can translate this also just translate like this translate like this just keep the component like this now just make orientation select this surface as to be placed with the surface that means coincident constraint so it is default it's at angle offset make it coincident now one constraint is fixed now this surface this surface has to fix with this surface this also will now you can translate only one degree of freedom now you, you can see one axis this axis and this axis has to be coincident now see the component is fully constrained here you can see and the yellow color turns seats means that the component is fully constrained just press the roller to confirm now we just want to place the flange again here for that take this assembly take the first component again just open it just rotate this component by using this arrow arrows And rotate it like this also yes now this surface has to coincide with the surface and again this surface has to coincide with the surface here you can see partially constraint the final constant is this axis this axis has to coincident with this axis here it is showing a distance make it to coincident now see the component is properly placed into that part now press the roller to confirm now the component is completely assembled this way we can model and assemble a flange coupling <coughs> now we have completed this uh, assembly 
Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.